everybody's doing well today. We got a little surprise for you. We're down here in Columbia. Got the new machine. Look at that. Fresh off the boat, folks. This is the first time I've seen this myself personally. So they just ordered this machine. It just came in at the port. And it's actually on the trailer because they're fixing to deliver it to a job I'm doing in uh, Campobello, South Carolina. Uh, but here it is. Brand new. This is what's really cool about this machine is um, the this year model, they just came out with Cummins diesel now instead of the Perkins diesel. So, but this one here will definitely get the job done. Got a hydraulic thumb, got a hydraulic quick coupler. You just detach from the bucket. All you gotta do is just hit a button inside. All pretty and yellow right now for the first day. It's gonna get dirty. Ooh, they left it open. Guys like to break the windows in the machines. We had to have some kind of guarding up there. Look at the screen in here. Look how huge that is. Isn't that crazy? Oh, snap. It's pretty nice. I like this. A little different from Caterpillar. Bluetooth stereo. It looks a lot like that demo unit I showed you guys the other day, which they're actually fixing to, after they deliver this, they're just going to pick that one up. Oh, it plays music for you when you start it too. Oh yeah. I like it. I wonder if I can trigger the camera by touching it. Wow. That's too cool. It's like it's like a toy. Well, I better not lift the boom up. He's got it all strapped down. This is going to be fun. That bucket looks pretty aggressive. What do you think, Joe? That's the camera guy there, folks. I bet you guys were wondering, how did Mark do a live video without holding the camera? Yeah, that whole thing was pre-planned, by the way. What's up? All right, I'm going to shut this off. They got the clock on military time in this thing. Yeah, hold the camera again so I can hop down 15 feet. I think I'm gonna have to get a bigger trailer. This thing like fits this trailer too. If this was on my gooseneck trailer, I think the cops would be like, hey, Mr. Miller. That's a big old boy. I like this push blade it's got on it too. Got a big old dozer blade on it. It's got two pistons. Makes it a lot more stronger. A lot of the mini X's, they got like the little single hydraulic piston on them to lift this like push blade. And it gets the job done. But I've noticed uh, if you're on the like kind of unlevel ground, you put it down, that push blade can still tweak. And it like defeats the purpose of like anchoring the push blade down the ground to make it stable. So, yeah, I think this is the same trailer. It's got that broken ramp right there. I remember that. It's pretty cool. Definitely not used to that name, but we'll see what happens, huh? I wish I could say the mulcher head was here, but. It was either pay $4,000 more to get it in three days, which I might do, or for the same price, wait uh, 10 weeks. I don't know if I want to wait till Christmas.
Well, hopefully this afternoon or possibly first thing in the morning, we'll have some some video of this thing moving. I love that window guard. That thing is awesome. I actually had a stick pop up through the front window one time on the Mini X. Right. Yeah, and it didn't have like the, the guard on it. But that bucket and thumb looks pretty aggressive on that thing. Looks like it would pretty be pretty sharp. Hopefully it'll help cut them root balls out, that's for sure. What's that say? Flake Fleco? Never heard of that one before. Fleco? Yeah, those are some big pins on that thing. Good lord. I guess uh I wonder if that's part of the no, I think they got to take it back when he was telling me, like, like there's, like, one hook up there. I think that's just for the jack, like, if you do a jackhammer or something. But, um, like the second hydraulic line. Yeah, but I think uh, when the um, the mulcher head comes in, I think they're going to have to bring it back in and, like, replumb it for all that stuff, too. They got a bunch of big ones out here. Look at the ripper on this one. Yeah, look at that big old dozer truck there. Front end loader. Have you ever seen them front end loaders that put mulchers on the front of them? These? Yeah, but they got more like kind of an off road tire. Now that's an oversized load right there. 330L. Man, that thing's huge. Good God. Look, they just stuck the boom in the ground right there. Maybe that's what anchors it, so it doesn't roll down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Good God. Cab's identical on that one. Just got a lot more engine, that's for sure. All right, guys. Well, I got to hop off here and do some paperwork. More fun things coming. We'll see you guys later.